Hello everybody, I'm back. Okay, here's what we're going to draw. I'm keeping this here so my camera hopefully stays in macro mode. Everything's focused. We'll do a test. Okay, so uh, this procedure is very basic. What we first want to do is create a straight line. And I'm going to use my architectural drawing pencil here. I'm going to try to make this real dark. I'm going to probably not be as uh, accurate as I could be right now, just so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Anyway, um, there's your line. Now we're just going to estimate the center of the page, so we got plenty of room, so just assume that's our, our center. Now, we're trying to uh, create a layout for just this size, so it's it's convenient to go a little further than that for sure uh, with our initial layout, so that we can use those lines so they extend past the this circle, so we can use them to describe the lines onto the disc layer. But okay, so the first thing is is that. We want to create a uh, 90 degree line this way, you know, and you know, how do you do that normally? You try to measure or try to do other things, but well, with a compass it's really easy. So all we got to do is uh, get our center point going and then create two points with the compass on the straight line. So they're equal distance from the center. Then we set our pointy end of our compass on that intersection and expand your compass out, it, you know, almost all the way out. I'm going to go a little less so you guys can see it for sure. And we create a small arc. Oops, sorry. Create a small arc this way and this way. Then we do the same thing from the other point. Create an arc and an arc. I've, I've got some extra pencil lines there. Sorry, these should be here. This eraser probably won't work good. Argh. Anyway, so now all we got to do is take our straight edge and connect this intersection, this intersection, and in the center. And we've got a straight line. So let's do that. On a straight line, it's actually uh, 90 degrees uh, to the other line. Like I said, it's kind of rough. Uh, you, you can uh, be as accurate as you want, take your time. I'm doing this kind of fast. So, anyway, so we create a 90 degree uh, situation so we know that. Uh, 90 degrees each each deal. So now, what we want to do is we want to create a circle a little bit bigger than uh, our disc. So, put the center again. We'll go about there. And we create a circle, which you might not be able to see real well. This lead's a little bit light. Kind of darken it up here so it'll be fat. Like I say, this won't be real accurate right now. So we've got a good circle out there. Now we leave the compass uh, at the same uh, radius, and all we're going to do is move out to uh, this point here, those uh, where the 90 degree lines intersect with the circle. And then we create a little arc here, an arc there where it intersects the circle. 
and that gives us a uh, equilateral triangle. So this distance, that distance, and this distance are all the same. And with geometry and trigonometry, everybody knows all that stuff. It's quite beautiful. So then we do the same thing in here. Arc, arc. So that basically gives us uh, six points, which are all equally spaced, but we're going for 12. So the way you do that is you just spin 90 degrees, do the same thing here and there. This is going to be rough. And then you put it here, like so, and like so. Now all you got to do is connect all the dots. So uh, I'm going to do it with a sharpie so you guys can see it good. Okay, so this is going to be rough because I'm rushing it here. Connect that line. This line. This one. You should always be hitting the, the exact center. You can see these are a little off because I was doing it rough. So there you go. Let me darken these just so you guys can see them good too. And there you have your 12 points, all 30 degrees apart, uh, nicely spaced. And so, really, all you all you need to do from there is estimate the radius of this guy, maybe just a smidge bigger. Draw a new inner circle. And you can use that to line up your disc inside there like so uh, take a couple of pieces of tape hold this down and then just take your straight edge and follow those other lines you can use your your compass as a little scribe and you can scribe a line on the disc and transfer that pattern onto your disc and you'll be um, quite accurate so there it is and we'll talk to you on the next video